Olivia and today I will be teaching you how I ombre my hair. So it's almost summertime and we're kind of, people are gonna wanna ombre their hair or just go full platinum blonde. And I was just like, in my opinion, well not my opinion, I actually wanted to dye my whole head blonde, but I'm 13, I'm not really allowed to do that yet until maybe 15 or 16, but I was just like, what's something else? <gasps> ombre! So. This is, yeah, obviously, this is after. There are some flaws in it, obviously. I will show you at the end of the video, there are some flaws, things I could've done better, but just saying, disclaimer, this is my very first, very first time ever doing my hair, not just with bleach. First time, guys. First time and I rocked it. If you do not feel comfortable with doing this yourself, then please go to a salon. I don't want to be responsible if you ruin your hair just by watching this video. So let's get started. <laughs> the things you will need are a comb and the little end of the comb to help you stir and distribute the product. And I will show you how to do all these things. And you will need an applicator so you can put all that scary bleach stuff onto your hair. So it's just an easier application. Okay, so the very next thing you will need is some tin foil. This is optional, but it just helps trap in the heat and for your bleach to process a lot easier. And you definitely need gloves. Don't be that stupid person and put on the gloves or you will burn yourself with this bleach and it'll just irritate you. So you also need some developer and I recommend the 20 developer but this all depends on the type of bleach you use and what it says in the directions so I got the L'Oreal quick blue which was recommended to me several times and it just says 20 to 30 developer so that's what I will be using you also need some repair type thing because you are using harsh chemicals and this will ruin your hair. So yeah, I also got some random conditioner because I was like, hey, that will help me repair my hair. Okay, so disclaimer, I, d I am not a professional at all. This is my first time doing my hair and I don't want to be responsible for if you ruin your own hair. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you want to measure out your developer. So I have the 20 volume developer and I'm just pouring it into this bottle and going up to the line where it says 1.5 fluid ounces. I think that's what it is. So yeah, and so I did 1.5 and then the bleach said on the package just one fluid ounces. So uh, yeah, so I just poured all of the bleach into the bowl and then with the measuring cut thingy with all the developer in it. I poured the developer into the bowl with the bleach and then I started mixing it up and you just wanna keep mixing it until you get a creamy, kind of thick consistency. And this does smell bad, so I recommend turning on a fan or opening the window. Start out by applying the bleach to the ends of your hair and then work your way up and apply the most of the bleach at the bottom of your hair and put less and less the more you work up. So this will give you more of a gradual effect and it'll make it look more natural and it won't just be a straight line across your hair. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't like that. I don't think anyone really does. But if you like that, good for you. Just go straight across. But this way it'll help blend and will just look more natural and a lot prettier in my opinion. At first we did use the little applicator brush, but I found it was just too hard for me and it was just kind of annoying because it was an extra thing to hold with all the stuff going on. This process kind of scared me because it was my first time doing it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna get this done and it's gonna look terrible. But eventually I got the hang of it, but I just used my hands to scoop up the bleach and then I just applied it onto my hair instead of using the brush because using the brush it didn't get every piece of hair and it didn't get the back side of my hair and in between sections so using my hands was a better better thing to do. So when you use the tin foil, what we did was we applied on the bleach and then right after we applied the bleach on, we would take the tin foil and wrap it around. You can fold it, you can crunch it, however you want to do it. But I just had my mom do that while I applied the bleach so it would just be a quicker process and everything would kind of um, like 
die at the same time and just like not one side be blonder than the other. So actually, I I wish I had a little more bleach because that's why some of my hair is uneven because I had like barely enough to cover up all my hair because my hair is super long. This definitely depends on your length of hair, but mine is pretty long, so that's why it didn't get all of my hair and as much as I wanted it to. But I just basically put a very thin layer on all of my hair and you basically just want to saturate your hair and do what I shouldn't have done. So that's why a couple of my pieces are like darker than the other and it's just kind of all wacky. But in the very beginning, we were like, oh my gosh, this isn't going to be enough. So what I did, I kind of applied less on one side. And then what I didn't realize what I was doing, because I was kind of trying to save it. And then once I got to the other side, I was like, oh, I have enough. So one side got more saturated than the other. And they both turned out the same color, except I got one side was higher and one side was lower. And I didn't blend the side that had less as well. So you just want to make sure you blend it pretty well. And all you do to blend is just um, put a bunch on the bottom and work your way up and put very, very little on the top. But I did go back on each side and applied a little more if I had a little bit of extra. And then I waited around, after my hair was done, around 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. But I started the timer from the very beginning from I first got one of my pieces um, done of my hair done and then after that you just want to check and see if it's the color you want and if it's the color you want after like 10 30 minutes or so just check it every like 10 minutes then go ahead and wash it out I didn't film that part because I didn't think I need to show you how to wash it out but I just put a bunch of conditioner and then I just blow dried my hair you can towel dry you can air dry you can do whatever you want but I was really excited to see the result so I just immediately blow dried it while I was brushing it out but make sure you put in your repair thing conditioner and all that stuff so yeah oh my gosh guys I am like so happy with the result look at that Come on, it may not be your favorite type of ombre, obviously. I like it because I think it's really, really pretty. It's not just like, bam, straight line blonde, bam, straight line brown. No, I think I did a pretty good job blending. You can obviously see right here, there's a straight line. Oh, <laughs> everyone makes mistakes. Everyone has those days. This is my first time at doing anything with my hair I've, and this is the biggest like difference I've ever done with my hair I've always just gotten little highlights and the highlights also help this blend into my hair I never wear my bangs down so don't worry guys so that is it guys make sure to share this video and show some friends about it and give this video a thumbs up please leave a comment down below and please subscribe Yes, subscribe the little button down there. So that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.